Good morning, everybody. It's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway. How are we today? Um, I'm really, really well. I wanted to bring to you a reading for the week for the 23rd to the 29th of May. I am working with my Sacred Geometry Healing Cards. They are available on my website, www.phoenixgateway.com.au, as well as Stockus Worldwide. The other thing you can buy from my website are my Liquid Alchemina Bottle or High Vibrational Elixirs. These have been created to work with nurturing balancing and healing mind body and soul and you don't just have to in, have to ingest them you can work with them in a number of ways if you actually go to my website to the front page you can download a PDF and it will show you um, it will give you uh, show you how you can work with the elixirs and what they're all about as well okay so let's get into it um, the reading for the week is based on when I, I always ask, you know, what is it that I'm going to be bringing through um, for the week? And today, very, very clearly, I heard the words, hey, sister, soul, sister. Yes, it is a song. Um, but it's not just based around the whole song because the way I interpret this song is it seems a very raunchy song. Um, but I would also work with that aspect of it in terms of, you know, the um, about loving ourselves and, um, you know, the sexual appetite that we have for ourselves because we can give ourselves self-pleasure and <clears throat> it, it is something that is natural and it is absolutely beautiful. But looking at it also... From and it might actually be that you know you're you're ready to find your soulmate, so it could be at that point in time. But looking at it from a different angle as well is looking at it from the aspect of new beginnings. I'm feeling this week, or oh, they were the words that coming through. It's about new beginnings. It's about soul family, finding your tribe. Um, whether it is with a group of soul sisters, whatever it may be. Um, because right now, you know, we have been experiencing such tumultuous times. This, these last two years have really, really shaken a lot of people up and not only people, but this world. And there is a lot of healing that needs to take place. Um, but on the same token, there's a lot of people who are starting to now awaken and become more aware to what is going on on a global level. And so what it really did was take me back and I started thinking about, okay, you know, hey, sister, soul sister, there's a couple of things that I see. So the first is for, um, when we look at Hey Sister, Soul Sister, I think of the Pleiades and the Seven Sisters. And the story behind that is of Greek mythology is that Atlas was asked to hold up the skies for the rest of eternity. And because that was to become his job, he didn't want to leave his children vulnerable, his seven daughters vulnerable, for uh, Zeus to come and attack rape. So what he did is he turned them all into stars. So we've got here the feminine aspect. And the more we are going into this time, I, I know that we are reconnecting with the feminine aspect of who we are. It doesn't matter. Excuse me for a minute. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> the cat is doing something she shouldn't. Um, we are going into, we're really delving into the feminine aspect and we're bringing that back through. And it reminds me of, you know, that the, the Sophia codes. This is what it is. It's about going into higher consciousness, our self-awareness, self um, that, that awakening that and, and coming more into conscious unity, okay? But it starts at an individual level and it's awakening that feminine aspect of who we are. 
what I then see is the aspect of Sashat. Now, the goddess Sashat in Egyptian mythology is the consort of Thoth, the god of wisdom, knowledge, the scribe, astrology, um, and so on and so forth. His concept, who, excuse me, his consort is Seshat, Sesh meaning scribe, and she is all, he, she is the, the feminine aspect of Thoth, and she is the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, she is the scribe, um, she also helped Thoth in building the uh, pyramids, and she wears a leopard skin dress, okay? She also has on her head what looks like a seven-pointed star. And I think that people can, can look in, at it in a couple of different ways to what it actually uh, represents. But one of the things, there are two things that I see when I look at her seven-pointed star. Because of the geometrical aspect, it's the six around the one. When we look at the six around the one, we're looking at the seed or the Genesis pattern. So it's what it's the beginning. Um, it is these new beginnings. It's the beginning of times, beginning of consciousness. Okay, we're bringing the aspects of consciousness um, to the forefront. We are. It's the seven days of of creation. It's the seven colors of the rainbow. It's the seven main chakras, okay? So the seven being that consciousness, the seed, the beginnings. The other aspect that I see is the Pleiades. I'm not sure. I, have, I, I haven't, I don't know if I am right in this or not, okay? Again, the six around one. And what is interesting when you do some reading on Plea, the Pleiades of the Seven Sisters, it says that we really only see six stars, that one is, you know, is in hiding. But it is the six around the one, and we have the seven, okay? And so she really is a, um, a depiction of the feminine divine, feminine consciousness. It is what is really coming through as the aspect of now. And it's not just about women being, getting back in touch with this feminine aspect, okay? And, and our earth, Gaia, is the feminine. She, it's about the rise of that new, that next level of consciousness. We're going into that next octave because the frequency of the earth Gaia, her heartbeat, the Schumann resonance is rising. And we know that because that is scientifically proven. Okay. Um, so for me, this is, you know, we are going through this huge awakening, this ascension. We are reawakening the feminine divine within ourselves. Um and the feminine aspect, you know, as above, so below, what we're seeing on a grander scale is also within us. And what's within us is also on that larger scale. So it, it's just such an, it, it just, I love how um, things do come together and how I, I can see or how I perceive that to be. Um, and it'd be interesting, you know, how do you see this particular aspect and there goes the cat <laughs> on the table um, and what are you feeling you know I are you feeling something new coming up for you uh, have you started meeting new people are, are you starting to find your tribe are you starting to connect more excuse me Too, and I'm going to take these cards. Um, are you starting to connect more into, um, you know, in into into our earth, into Gaia, and really feel into her heartbeat, 
and all those that are connected through the ley lines and through the vortexes that we have that have specifically been given to us to work with as well but it's about remembering and what i really love because when we think about the ley lines what we know is that they actually make up also part of the dream time the aboriginal dream time and another thing about the pleiades is that the aboriginal people in australia um, use that as part of their dream time they work they work with it in terms um of doing women's ceremonies. So it is highly revered within um, the Abor Aboriginal community as well. And when we're looking at this aspect, we're also looking at snake medicine, and this is exactly what rebirth is. This is about um, our transformation. It's reweaving, reactivating our energy, our our um, vibrational frequency, okay? And what we're doing is we're working with that snake medicine and we know it's snake medicine that joins these ley lines up throughout the world. And what I truly, truly love is that right now we're really getting into the heart aspect and I found myself very, very drawn to wanting to go to the UK and to Ireland. And what I realized is that's because it is the heart of our earth. And it's the feminine, it's the rise of, uh, you know, when we look at um, Sophia, Mary Magdalene, um, it is about working with the feminine aspect and working at the heart and it's reconnecting in. And what's even more beautiful is that knowing that the heart chakra of our earth is comes back and is linked then to Uluru here in Australia. So it, it makes perfect sense on so many levels for where um, for you know what I'm finding. Um, I'm drawn to and to why because it's important to heal these ley lines and to work with the aspect of these ley lines because you've got to remember that energetically we aren't constricted to time and space okay we can work on quantum levels we can create healing with thought thought is so powerful but we can also do the healing work in the physical as well okay and when we can do it more together and we cannot unite these energies, oh my God, like it is just going to be a powerhouse to be reckoned with. Really uh, important and uh, solfeggio frequencies come up all the time. Um, I do want to mention something that's really, really interesting. So a girlfriend of mine works with my cards in her healing. Um, and... With the ancient sound frequencies, which is all about our balance frequency vibration, you'll see that in the middle I have the pyramid, yep, with the all seeing eye. So, of course, some one of her clients said, You know, is she into the Illuminati? And I had to have a little chuckle, but at the same time, it's really sad because what we need to bring back to the forefront and to understand is that the dark the those that have been here on our planet and still are but hopefully getting weaker weaker and weaker have actually taken what is sacred okay when we're talking about sacred it's what is already innate it was already here it already exists it is sacred knowledge it is a sacred foundation okay what we see in terms of for example, what was taken as the swastika, which was um, highly revered in the Hindu, Buddhist, um, Jainism, um, in, 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 into their religions, um, you know, and was taken and turned and changed. You know, we look at the number the 666. The 666 is not about Satan or the devil. The 666 pertains to the, to the sun. It's a portal of sun but this has been twisted and turned 
and you have been made to think over time through programming that all these aspects are actually evil or they are negative and they are absolutely not. Okay, so it's understanding that these symbols, sacred geometry, it's sacred because it already existed. It is already innate. It is already a part of, okay? It was, it, it, it was created with consciousness. E equals MC squared. Energy equals matter and consciousness. It is light, okay? So I felt like I needed to say that, but we really need to make sure that we remain in balance. Balance is key with everything right now. As soon as you find yourself going off balance, center yourself, work with your breath, go for a walk, hug a tree, go for a swim, paint, um, draw, create mantras, meditate, whatever it might be that you need to do. All right, we are um, accelerating in growth and our pineal gland is activating. For those who are on their awakening now, the pineal is activating, okay? For others, it's really important to maintain um, the clear uh, pathway with our pineal gland, so it's really important to avoid fluoride, to drink um, filtered waters, work with sound, okay? Sound definitely is the medicine of the future. I think that one was Edgar Casey. Let's see, I feel like I've done more talking than reading and that's okay because I really wanted for that to happen. So let's see if I can get another card or two. All right. It is time, we're unlocking more and more keys out where we're going within, you know, the, our DNA is activating. We're activating and we're coming more into understanding um, our Akashic records. We're being able to access them. They're bringing through the knowledge and wisdom of ancient times. But when we pull this awakening card, another card card is worked with it. And it's interesting, this is the 432 hertz. So this is very, very, very much about working on balance. And I think balance is a very, very big uh, message here for all to um, work with, okay? Be mindful of your energy as well. Really be mindful of energy right now because it's tiring. It's really tiring and going through these massive shifts, what we're seeing with the Schumann resonance and these light coatings that are coming through for people to work with. It's exhausting and it does affect us on a physical level. Okay, so do I need to pull any more cards? I don't feel like I do right now. So what I want to say is have a beautiful week wherever you are and um, really take care of you, really be mindful of the balance. Um, and yeah, I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.